Today, I will be showing you the Chinese waitress cast on. The Chinese waitress cast on uses a crochet hook. It is a form of a knitted cast on and it produces a reversible or a double edged cast on that produces a row of chain stitches with a nested row of chain stitches moving the opposite direction. It is a rolled edge. To begin, you make a slip knot. This will not count as a stitch. It will be dropped off the needle later. And you place it on your left hand needle. And hold the tail out of the way. Then you it's, uh, it's easiest to use a crochet hook with this cast on. Um, some references show you using uh, a knitting needle, but I find that a crochet hook is much easier to do this cast on. So the slip knot is on your left hand needle. You will take your crochet hook and place it behind the left hand needle, making an X. With the working yarn, then behind both. You then, for the first step, wrap the working yarn around the knitting needle and the crochet hook, making an X. And you pivot the crochet hook and come through that stitch. You now have a stitch on your needle and a stitch on your crochet hook. Now the steps are all the same all the way across for your cast on. You pivot your crochet hook behind. The working yarn is already behind. You again make a cross around, wrap the yarn around both the knitting needle and the crochet hook, pivot the crochet hook, and then come down and through the stitch that's on the crochet hook as well. Now there's another stitch on the needle. You then pivot again, wrap around, turn the hook to the side so that you can easily pull that loop through both strands and you repeat this across. like so. When you get to the end, so it's best to cat don't count the slip knot when you count how many stitches you've cast it on. One, two, three, four, five, six. The loop that's on the crochet hook is going to count as a, as your cast on as a cast on stitch, as your final cast on stitch. So when you have cast it on one fewer than your total number that you need to cast on. I will show you what to do with that last stitch so that it matches. So say I, let's see how many I have, don't count that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Let's do one more, 13, say I want to cast on 14. So I've cast it on 13 and I have the loop on my hook. I need to get the loop off my hook and onto my knitting needle. But first I want to make it look like the rest. So I yarn over just the crochet hook and pull a loop through and then knitwise place that last loop on the needle. Now the last stitch matches. And here's the edge. It is a double row of chains, one going this way and one going that way. 
I've worked a few rows of stockinette stitch so that you can see it a little clearer. Um, so there is the cast on edge. And if I roll it, you can see the chain going that way and a chain going that way. It makes a very nice double, or not, not double edged, but reversible cast on edge. This edge leaves a really nice space for picking up stitches. If you wanted to pick up stitches um, and for some reason and knit the other direction, um, it would leave you the this edge, which, which would basically look like a long tail cast on edge, this little um, swirl, while also providing you a whole selvage stitch, essentially, to pick up and, and knit down. Um, yeah, the, the cast on, so I had removed the slip knot after I worked a couple of, after I didn't work the slip knot, as I went across on the first row, I dropped it. Um, this edge tends to flare and be looser. As you can see here, I used a larger crochet hook basically than my needle, even just for demonstration purposes. But uh, in your normal knitting, you should go down a crochet hook size to tighten it up because it does tend to flare. And be a little bit loose. As you can see here, those first stitches are quite a bit looser. So you can also go down a, your needle size as well. So go down your needle size, go down and your crochet hook size for the cast on to make it a little more firm and neater looking. Uh, and then go up to your normal needle size for the rest of your work. But that is the Chinese waitress cast on, or the double chain cast on, I think it is sometimes called. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.